We're driving the 2021 Honda Odyssey. It's refreshed. Coming up, we're gonna share an emotional Honda Odyssey related memory. But first, information explosion. By the way, if you don't have uh, a long time to get to the bottom of the Honda Odyssey, I did a quick video for Kelly Blue Book that just talks about the refresh bits for 2021. Look, another Honda Odyssey. I bet that's gonna happen a lot in this drive. Considering it's a minivan, a good place to start would be interior. Such a gentle transition to the interior. I'm trying to <clears throat> mellow out my uh, transitions a little bit. I think I made my point with screaming that. <laughs> Let's talk about the interior. What do you think about the vibe? I think it feels very upscale. I oh. was not expecting that. Well, that is because we're driving the Elite trim, which is the fancy pantsiest. It is adding some style where it can, and I like that. Although that is definitely fake stitching over there, but I'll look real stitching over there. Yeah. I think a much more important thing is space. I can verify that the third row is adult worthy and the lean on the seat back is crazy. That third row seat too also stows into the cargo floor so you can make a very nice flat area or if you have it up, there's a ton of space in the back there. 32.8 cubic feet with the uh, third row in the up position. By the way, I mentioned there's eight seats. There's only seven in the LX trim, which is the lowest. It doesn't get a middle second row seat. Mm -hmm. Speaking of that second row, did you make use of some of that magic slide functionality? Oh, for sure. Our girl likes to be in the middle so we can easily hand her snacks. Or high fives. <laughs> See, gonna be a lot of high fives in this video. On that note, that ability to slide inboard and outboard has two main benefits. One, you can slide inboard, so um, if you've got the middle seat out, you can put two people next to each other, assuming they like each other. You can slide them outboard if they do not like each other. Also, if in that inboard position, you have really easy access to the third row. In fact, you may not even have to slide the second row forward to get to the third row because there's so much darn space. Interior cargo is fantastic. So there's this area down here where you can just put camera gear um, or a purse. Look at the doors. How much door space is there? And this is where they put all the little um, divided spaces. Is that where you put bric-a-brac? I only know oh. that from our thrift store days, back when we were uh, real, real poor. I don't even know what it is, but I know that's where I found all my favorite things at the thrift store. Well, whatever bric-a-brac <laughs> is, if it's small enough, you can put it in the doors. <laughs> Oh, one more item on the second row. I mentioned that this is a refreshed 2021 Odyssey. One of the things that they have updated are the second row seats. They now flip forward slightly flatter, which is supposed to make them easier to remove, but that does not mean they are easy to remove. Rear window test. Armrest test. You may have noticed uh, I am driving in a comfortable eight and four. Both elbows are on the armrest soft, very soft purchase. Inboard is adjustable for height. That's gonna be two elbows in the way up position. Now I feel like a jerk because I'm in this guy's way. Sorry. Even the car is complaining. Yeah. Hey, Mike, get your head out of here. <laughs> Thanks, Sensi. <laughs> I'm sure you can guess what the answer is going to be, but what do we think about family friendliness as it relates to the Honda Odyssey? Um, it could not be more family friendly. I fully Yay! agree. You can use an SUV for family duty, but uh, for getting kids in and out, the low step in height, the sliding doors, the uh, functionality of the second row seats, the uh, fact that there are latch points in each of the middle seats or uh, each of the second row seats. Um, you can put a ton of children in here, organize them however you need to keep <laughs> chaos at bay. It is so family friendly, maximally family friendly. Do we agree? We agree. We agree. Let us seal this agreement with a five. Passionless five. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Have you subscribed to our channel? <laughs> if you haven't, please do. At 100,000 subs, I'm gonna review a windowless white van. Style. Needless full Whee. throttle acceleration. Oh, 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 little chirp. That's <laughs> nice. Why, no, minivan action. <laughs> Let's talk about what this thing looks like. 
Uh, as mentioned, this is slightly updated for 2021. There's a new bumper, uh, some very, very subtle trim updates, and new LED headlights. Mm. That is the extent of it. I suspect that most people will not be able to determine the difference between the 21 and the 20. Nonetheless, it's reasonably handsome for a minivan. Um, you know, don't get too excited. <laughs> hey, are you curious what I'm driving or flying between YouTube videos? If you are, follow me on Instagram. I'm this guy, and if you're curious what the Museo family is up to, of which I am a part, follow Heavy. In motion! This is a great segue into the in-motion segment because this road isn't great, but the Honda Odyssey is dealing with it ably. Mm -hmm. Ride quality is nice. Um, and having spent a good deal of time in the Odyssey covering an awful lot of distance, I can tell you that long haul comfort is primo. And my understanding is that nothing has changed with the chassis for 2021. So dynamically, it's the same Odyssey we know and love. In 2020, a 10-speed automatic transmission became standard, uh, as did automatic engine start-stop. I'm not generally a fan, but in this application, it actually works pretty well. The engine restarts aren't super herky-jerky, and the 10-speed works nice. For just motoring around town, the 3.5-liter V6 and the 10-speed are a nice combination. Let me floor it for no good reason. If you need full throttle acceleration. If you need to um, put on the power, it, it does so well. Otherwise, it's just innocuous and smooth and, and comfortable. That's what I think. But what do you think? <laughs> ah, here we are in a pair of parking lots. It's the kind of action you expect from a minivan review. So glamorous. I actually like driving this more than I thought it would based on its size. It oh, yeah. feels pretty comfortable. Yeah, Maybe your know. fear is tamped down by the raw sexual energy you're feeling in the front seats here. Yeah, I think that's it. It's probably what it is. <laughs> Maybe you're liking it because it's a little bit safe. Yeah. yeah. That's I think that thing. is something I enjoy. Oh, I... Go, 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 go. <laughs> yeah, Yay. Yeah, Are you feeling the G's? <laughs> it's very loud. Yeah, well, only when you're flooring it. <laughs> Feel those brakes. Yeah. Yes, sweetie. Oh, well, I wonder if that's a user error thing or maybe the batteries died. But you do raise a good point, sweetie, that there's a 10.2 inch display back here. I'm guessing the battery died. Maybe the battery died. But uh, yeah, you can uh, add that. That's uh, one of those things that's reserved for the highest trim. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, if you want to keep your kids distracted, buy the highest, most expensive minivan you can. <laughs> or save some money and just get an iPad. Either way. That's Knott's Berry Farm. It's like Disneyland, but not, not as good. But not. <laughs> hey. Let me ask you about visibility. Visibility seems pretty great. Yeah, especially with the child in the inboard position, you don't have to look over or through second row seats. We've achieved some level of satisfaction. I'm just gonna call it there and get back in the driver's seat. <laughs> and that's what you thought. <laughs> it's very dark right now. <laughs> and now, calmly, emotion factor. At the beginning of the video, I teased that we were going to have an emotional Honda Odyssey related moment, and here it is. Five years ago, uh, we made a child. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot about that. I mean, I remember making the child, but... <laughs> I do too. <laughs> Back before she was a uh, polite, precocious daughter, uh, she was a newborn baby, and the day we brought her home was the 4th of July. That's right. Back in 2015, was it? And you know what we brought her home in? A Honda Odyssey. <laughs> if you um, are going to make memories with a family, you can definitely do that with a minivan, and that can spark that emotion factor. If you're feeling emotionally moved to buy a Honda Odyssey of your own, check the Kelly Blue Book listing link in the description below. Remarks. There aren't major updates for 2021. We're talking things like they added a third row bag hook and a uh, USB port in the third row. So not huge sweeping changes. You had a remark. When we were using the Honda Vac, in fact, mm -hmm. our girl liked using it so much that she didn't want to stop using it and wanted the whole car to be sparkling. She's got the janitorial jeans. <laughs> the only downside to it is that um, 
lean that you remarked on earlier in the third row mm -hmm. kind of impedes the access to the vacuum if they're all the way back. So if you have a uh, comfy mic in your third row, you may not be able to <laughs> vacuum his filth. That would be a poor combination and mm -hmm. way to wrap up that thought. <laughs> yeah, pro tip, don't put micas in your car. That'll solve that problem. <laughs> Another big safety development for 2021 is the inclusion of standard Honda sensing across the lineup. And they've also improved the system. So they've got a new radar unit and a new electronic brake uh, booster thingy. <laughs> term. <laughs> oh God, I get paid for used car cars when I said it like that. It now has pedestrian and bicycle detection uh, for the automatic emergency braking system. So that bicyclist that's coming right here, if I were inattentive and it was, uh, we were about to hit him, uh, the car would know and hopefully do something about it. That pedal also, I'm going to come to a stop here. Let's see how it feels coming to a complete stop. It's supposed to have a little better feel. Is that a nice, Is that buttery a smooth. There are fun pictures on the walls. Oh gosh, I wish you guys were here to witness those. You could be an honorary <laughs> museo and join us in your, our next minivan uh, review. It's not as fun as it looks. We said it looks fun. <laughs> yeah, like me, and it was like, no, we didn't think so. No, it's, it's fine, it's fine. All right, let's see how dynamic cruise control does, bringing us to a stop. Traffic is slowing. Oh, oh, it is slowing automatically. But can it come to a stop smoothly? As smooth as a Mike and Museo? Let's find out. Oh, easing off, nice and smooth, gentle, gentle. Oh, you're no longer needed for braking here. I have been replaced by a minivan. <laughs> oh, the shame. That was pretty good though. Honda sensing works really well. Uh, and the steering assist pulls you nicely back into your lane. Primo. Oh, because I was just making a joke about how the van was driving better than I do. It's not true, but it is close. <laughs> right turn. Whee! As long as we're driving along on this empty road, let's see what happens if I depart the lane. Oh, it warns me with a little shake and it pulls us right back. It, Good it, job, it, Honda Odyssey. It's, it's driving itself. It uh, wasn't fully driving itself, but it was protecting me from my own idiocy. Good job, Odyssey. There's a new feature for 21 uh, that is a rear seat reminder. And what's cool is that it integrates with the cabin watch system. So oh. if you have, uh, if it thinks that there's something in the back seat there, it'll give you a little chime and then it'll automatically pull up the image here showing you what's in the back seat. So you can quickly visually confirm, I, I, I left my um, howler monkeys uh, crawling <laughs> in the back and I should go retrieve them before I go into my uh, lonely uh, relationshipless home because I have the monkeys, but they love me. They're my real family. What? <laughs> I've painted such a vivid, weird picture. And like, what's happening to us in this scenario? The monkeys are my new family. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ee, ee. <laughs> You're welcome back. <laughs> if I were in the market for a Honda Odyssey, I can tell you I would skip the LX. And do you know why? I don't. I will tell you now. Because if you move up to the EX, and it's a, it's a reasonable jump up in price, but you get all the things that you would want in a minivan. Power sliding uh, doors, the magic slide second row seats, three zone automatic climate control, an eight inch infotainment display with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Meaning if you get the LX, you do not get modern smartphone integration and I will not live that way. All the things you just mentioned are what I think of as making a minivan special. <laughs> well then, sweetie, you're gonna wanna buy the EX. I am. Mm -hmm. I thought you might. Did you know you could tow 3,500 pounds in a Honda Odyssey? That's a surprise. Yeah, it's not an outrageous amount, but it's pretty good. What's funny is that the Pacifica can tow 3,600. To me, that is a very passive aggressive number. Oh, you think you're great? You think you're so great, Honda? Well, we're gonna do one better. <laughs> Speaking of the Pacifica, it raises a point about a Honda weakness, which is the lack of a hybrid powertrain. So you can get a Pacifica hybrid, which is actually actually a plug-in hybrid. I'll even say that one more time for clarity's sake. Because now I'm picturing adorable pugs. A plug? <laughs> yeah, the uh, plug-in hybrid, it'll do like more than 30 miles on pure electric range. So if you're just doing like daily commutes, like around your neighborhood, then you'll just never use any gasoline. One more than that, the new Sienna from Toyota, they're all hybrids. A hybrid powertrain mm. comes standard. So the fuel economy race is uh, not going to be won by Honda. And then also, if you need all-wheel drive, if you live somewhere where slippery conditions are a thing, 
then the Sienna is going to be your only choice. And of course, when I say only choice, I mean along with the Pacifica, which you can also get all-wheel drive. Conversely, the Honda is ahead of the curve in being a Honda, which for many people is a, a pretty important thing. Great resale values, reliability, that kind of stuff. Hey, have we missed any remarks? If so, please tell us in the comment section, synopsis. To me, and this is inspired by Last Dance, the uh, great Netflix documentary about basketball, a sport I do not care about. The Honda Odyssey is like Scotty Pippen. He's reasonably priced, he is a great supporting player, and he elevates the quality of your team, AKA your family. The Honda Odyssey is the Scotty Pippen of minivans. What do you think? I think that is a solid synopsis. <laughs> yes, nailed it. <laughs> and impressive for a dude who knows nothing about sports. <laughs> The important thing, and the reason why I sometimes seem informed, is that I know just a little bit about a lot of things. <laughs> hey, do you like sports? I sure do too. Go team! Yay, team! I think that was a pretty good minivan review. Stop. Sweetie, can I have a five? Yeah, five. And you, come get your high five. Ah.